This is Greenland, home to one of the world's biggest ice sheets. This is Justin Gillis reporting from Tasilik, Greenland for the New York Times. It looks peaceful here, but Greenland is changing and quickly. The air is warming here. More ice is melting in the summer. Glaciers have started to flow faster and spit more icebergs into the ocean. These changes are contributing to the rise of sea level, which could threaten coastal cities from Miami to Shanghai. A team of scientists has come here to study the fast-moving Helheim Glacier in southeastern Greenland to get a better idea of what is happening. Helheim Glacier was moving uh, about 7,000 meters a year, which is about four miles per year in 2003, and by 2005 it was moving almost 12,000 meters per year, or about seven miles a year, so about a doubling in speed. The researchers are here to deploy sensors and to set up cameras to record the rapid movement of the glaciers. They want to understand the mechanics of ice loss and figure out if it's connected to broader global warming trends caused by human activities, like the burning of fossil fuels. The reason that we all should care about what's happening here is that the changes that we see here affect everybody. If you lose ice from the glaciers here, it goes into the oceans. That's a contribution to sea level rise. Reach of the changes that are happening here is truly global. Lately, prominent researchers have come up with new estimates suggesting that as polar ice melts over the next hundred years, sea levels may rise three feet or more. That's enough to threaten many coastal cities around the world. It is five times faster than the seas rose in the 20th century. Scientists say it could also mean more powerful and frequent storm surges of the sort that happened in Hurricane Katrina. It's very clear that the climate is warming. That's simply an observation. And so whatever you think about why it's warming, the consequences are very serious and, and we need to understand the processes. But in both Greenland and Antarctica, the work on the ice sheets is still in its infancy. Some researchers say that sea level rise in this century could be modest, while other scientists say they cannot rule out a rise of as much as six feet. What we don't understand are the dynamic changes that are happening in the ice sheets. What drives the acceleration? And these are very nonlinear, meaning a little change can produce a very large change. So a little change in the ocean could potentially drive a large change in the ice sheet. Fiametta Stranio looks for clues in the ocean. Possibly as a result of global climate change, warm water has been invading the fjords around Greenland and may be causing the glaciers to melt from below. The scientists anchor monitors in the ocean to measure factors like currents and temperature. The researchers also fly over the ice and send temperature probes deep into the water. But getting measurements like this is not easy. These measurements are very costly. We, we come out here, um, even just shipping gear here is expensive, it's complicated. We lose a lot of instruments in the fjords because of icebergs. The research is mostly paid for with American tax dollars. The scientists say the work is critical to building their understanding of polar ice and its effect on sea levels. So much of the world's uh, population is clustered around the coastal zone um, and sea levels are already rising. If we're going to have uh, you know, th you know, thorough and, and uh, uh, sensible coastal planning policies, we need to know what's going to happen with sea level rise in the coming decades and century.